I've been playing video games since I was a kid. I am not a kid anymore. And not an Anakin Skywalker I want you to take me seriously way. I mean, it's been a long time. I've picked up quite a few habits, and I know you have too. That's why today I want to talk to you about 10 compulsive gaming habits you always regret. Number 10. Sometimes a game is so engrossing right off the bat, you just play it for an hour. Except it's not an hour, it's 10 hours. You started at like 5 p.m. and it's like 3 a.m. If math serves me, math doesn't always serve me. You didn't accomplish anything. Just ran around in the open world, blew things up. Got arrested a lot? What happened? I don't know. It's so easy to get immersed in a good game. As much as video games are super fun and one of the best ways to pass your time. Holy crap, where did that 10 hours go? I only did two missions. And one of them was a tutorial. Number nine, getting hyped. Yeah, it's easy to get excited about new games that are coming. New trailers come out, previews, stuff that game journalists were allowed to see as long as they agreed to the rules of the preview camp. The fact is, this is capitalism, man. Before that product comes out, they're gonna make sure that it looks good. And it's easy to get swept up in that. I got swept up in Watch Dogs. What? It looked good. Don't tell me you didn't think it looked good. I mean, if anything, it tells you that marketing does its job. I actually made Aiden Pierce look cool ahead of time. And I mean, we all know how that turned out. Number eight, reloading your weapon after every single damn shot. I mean, it's fairly amateurish, but sometimes you just get into a rhythm where you're like, shoot, okay. Shoot, okay, shoot, okay. And for whatever reason, you just end up not being able to stop. You can't help yourself. You just compulsively need to have that thing on the first shot of the clip. When in reality, that's not even how a clip even works. You end up looking really stupid to people who are watching you play or really just feel stupid. Number seven, loudly swearing at your TV upon making a mistake. Whether you die or you shoot a civilian and the mission's over or you just bought Watch Dogs and you started playing it. You might have parents or you might be a parent, but either way you end up swearing loudly and usually something happens that's not necessarily a desired consequence. You either get in trouble with parents or you get in trouble with your significant other or if you're one of those rare parents where your kids are more mature than you, write mom or dad like you needed to swear there. If you were playing Watch Dogs, you know I was swearing. Number six, quick saving too much. I do this all the time. When you're allowed to save everywhere, which I believe you should be, by the way, I basically fill up all the save slots very fast. Nowadays when systems come with 30 to 500 gigabytes of storage, I don't understand why they limit the amount of saves that you have per game. Anyway, I quick save so damn much I have to resave over them and I don't scroll to the bottom. Maybe I should. I'm not gonna say every time I play a game it goes exactly how I want it to. Sometimes I need to go back and fix some choices that I made. But a lot of the time I end up doing this way too much. And if I want to go back, I have to go back way further than I wanted to. Because I saved over the recent one because I filled up the saves. And let me tell you, after that, I walked this lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. I don't know where it goes, but I definitely regret doing that many quick saves. Number five, I consider myself to have a pretty decent sense of direction. But sometimes in a single player game, I'm going down a path and I realize it's not the path that I want to go down. So I turn around, go back to wherever it was that I had to make the choice to go down that path and make another choice and end up going down the same path. And I get to that end of the cave or tunnel or whatever, find the same empty treasure chest or, you know, just random rock formation. And realistically speaking, I probably spent maybe two or three minutes going down that path. But when you go back and forth a couple times, it feels like forever. And on top of that, it feels stupid too. Number four, saving up your items for a boss fight like potions or ammunition and then just not using them. Especially if it was really hard to get to the boss fight and then you didn't even need the potion anyway. I mean, you could have used those potions to get there faster. And you think it's only been one hour, but it's been 10 hours. And you're like, oh geez, I could have gotten through here much faster if I just used a stupid potion before. I'll have other potions. There's a damn item shop right after the boss. At least if it's a decently designed game. I could use this opportunity to make another joke at 
watchdog's expense, but I don't know. You know what? You know what I mean. I don't need to do that. Watchdogs is not well designed though. Number three, spending the whole day on character customization. I don't know whether you play Bethesda games, Bioware games, or whatever. There are some people, sometimes I am included in that group, that will spend forever on character customization. I mean, sometimes it's about trying to make a character that I can relate to. Sometimes it's about making a weird character. Sometimes it's really just not knowing what I want. I really like being able to make characters. It feels good to have some degree of control over who I'm playing in the game world, but when you spend a really long time on it, it can sometimes be just a little bit weird. It can be it can be kind of easy to spend way too long on it too. I mean, it's really easy to have small, tiny little things that you really think, yeah, I could do a little bit better. Like I'd really like to just say, you can't do better, you should stop. But the deeper the customization, the worse it is too. Number two, in a turn-based game, you keep telling yourself one more turn, but it never happens that way. In my head, I'd be plotting new trade routes to Europe or figuring a way to get native land at a discount. And I just want to be able to break this addiction so I can go home and live my life with my wife and our two beautiful children. We have three children. It starts at eight or nine at night. And before you know it, it's midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Why am I still playing this? Stupid Sid Meier, you've taken my entire night from me. I needed sleep tonight. But it's just so tempting because you know Okay, if I just go a little bit further, when I come back to the game, I'll be in a much better position resources-wise. Or strategically, when I come back to the game, it'd be a lot better if I were in this position. Eh, I could attack him now. Oh, what a haul. Look at all this stuff I got from the raid. I could build. Yup, I'm gonna. And it's 4 a.m. Shit. And finally, number one, compulsive hoarding of items, picking up literally everything that you see. And I don't mean picking up everything you see and then immediately heading to a town and selling all of it. I mean filling up your inventory to the point that you can't get any more items. And then you have no idea what to do. And you end up finding that spoons and random books aren't really exactly what you want to be carrying around when there's a weight mechanic. Oh hey, I can't fit anything else in my inventory. I've got too many drowner brains. What are you even going to do with that milk? It's not gonna keep forever. Oh sure, it's labeled fresh bread, but you got it from a damn cave. Why do I have this stuff? Oh, damn well these aren't the only 10 of these. In fact, one might argue that this type of stuff is the whole reason the YouTube comment section exists. So get down there and start the discussion. Also, do not forget to click that like button. It helps us immensely. Speaking of our videos, we really appreciate you coming around the Game Ranks channel and watching this one as well as, uh, you know, watching a few more. It's not like you're gonna get wrapped up for 10 hours doing it, or so you think. Anyway, we will see you next time here on Game Ranks.